Research and innovation in Futurist. It's holiday time and for many Europeans that means packing up the car and hitting the road. Sadly, not everyone will return home safely. More than 30,000 people are killed and 1.5 million injured every year on EU roads. Can new technologies make the roads safer? Croatia, which expects to join the EU in 2013, is a major test site for a European project to equip all cars with a wireless emergency call system. The technology informs the emergency services immediately if there's an accident, potentially saving lives. This car is not a usual car. This car is equipped with the e-call device, uh, which is capable to perform a special call, which is provided manually or automatically by the unit uh, which is placed within a car. If we are witnessing the serious accident um, on the other side of the road, we can just stop the car properly in a safe way and we can push the button. The communication device makes a mobile call to the single European emergency number 112. While the driver talks to the operator through the car's loudspeaker and microphone, the e-call device sends the exact GPS coordinates, which pinpoint the location of the accident on the map. With this system, the time required to get all necessary data for the rescue operation is significantly shorter. Receiving an immediate alert should cut emergency services' response time by up to 50%. Within minutes, the ambulance, the fire brigade or the police will be on site. Accident victims can be under a lot of stress. Many don't know their location. This system circumvents the human error. The time and coordinates of the accident will be sent automatically to the 112 centre, avoiding unnecessary complications. The Croatian Auto Club Association provides technical assistance and traffic data to drivers. The e system should help it forecast post-accident traffic jams and remove the language barriers. It's particularly important for popular popular destinations like Croatia, visited by many tourists who don't speak the local language. Work is ongoing on a pan-European compatibility of the e system. Car manufacturers need to integrate the technology in their vehicles to trigger the emergency call simultaneously when the airbags are inflated. To make it automatic, you, have to connect, you would have to connect it to the sensors in the car, so the, the, the sensors can trigger this. We have been playing with, with those devices during our tests in the lab, so we would, we would simulate this by shaking a box. And we would shake the device and see if it would trigger the, the e-calls. A fully functioning EU-wide e-call service is planned to be in place by 2015. By then, this feature should become mandatory in all new vehicles sold in the European Union. new smart technologies actually prevent accidents from happening by automatically avoiding dangerous situations? This car doesn't even need the driver's help to steer, accelerate or brake. It navigates autonomously using sensors and the precise positioning system. As I'm pushing the button, I'm switching the car into the highly automated mode. So it starts driving automatically, scanning the surrounding for any obstacles, and if there's an obstacle, it automatically breaks. European scientists and car manufacturers have built several demo vehicles, integrating smart driving concepts that should eventually make driving safer, greener, 
and more enjoyable. We've put multiple sensors on this car. Here, for instance, on the side, in the middle, and on the other side are the laser radars that produce a wide-angle front view. And then here, right behind the front mirror, there's a lane recognition system. It detects exactly where the car is located on the lane. Researchers use virtual reality simulators to study human-machine interaction in various road traffic situations. Ensuring the driver's confidence in the automatic systems is one of the main challenges for the smart car of tomorrow. When it comes to automation, it's important to determine the best ways of switching the driving modes between manual and automatic and find the optimal partition of tasks and responsibilities between the driver and the technical systems of the car. This research vehicle has a co-pilot system that reads road markings up to 60 meters ahead, allowing one to drive on a highway making smooth, hands-free turns. When I activate the co-pilot system, the highly automated mode indicator lights up on the dashboard and the car starts keeping to its lane automatically, following the markings along the turns. However, if the bends are too tight, the co-pilot hands control back to the driver. The automatic system can be upgraded with more functions, such as lane changing or avoiding obstacles. The radar helps the car maintain a safe distance from nearby vehicles. It'll adjust its speed to prevent a collision if the car in front slows down or stops, this way fully automating driving in traffic jams. There are still many open questions. Will it be enough for the machine to cover for the non-attentive driver for just 10 seconds? Or can the autonomy be longer? Will these situations be handled safely at higher speed? How can the communication between cars help in real traffic situations? Intelligent co-pilot systems won't be on the market for a few more years yet, but there's little doubt that moves in that direction will continue as scientists and manufacturers unify their efforts to pave a safer road ahead for the clever cars of the future.